back to another video of I want to cut the gator. I will be streaming this because it's going to be a very short mod. Yes, we're playing mods despite finishing the game as you can see over here. Well, I technically didn't finish the game technically because I still got like, as you can see here, we go to galleries despite getting all the endings. Um, give it a moment, it'll load. Yeah, as you can see here, I got one thing missing, and it turns out there were build scenes I just forgot to turn on, so it's just three things I need to get. But, and yeah, you see here, we saw everything in the game so far. But, no, we haven't. But, as I promised, we'll be playing tons of mods. But, for this mod, I decided to play it on the. On, I decided not to stream it. And instead, record it and post it on YouTube because why not? Because it because it's a very short mod. It's like what, 25 minutes, 28, and it's called the Little Gator mod. If you see my Twitter post, yeah, that this this is a brain rot mod, and I'm going to play it, and I'm just gonna shut up and get to it. September 4th, year 201M, 2023, BC. It's my first day at St. Hammond and I already have a good feeling about it. My old school recommended my family to St. Hammond for their special education and inclusive atmosphere. <laughs> special. No idea what any of that means, but my father always tells me I'm a little special. Oh my god, <laughs> it's a bit... We're not... In like a few minutes into the story and is already throwing in the special. It's nice to have my photography skills finally recognized. Lucky me, the weather is pretty nice today. Work, hate to go to my new school on a rainy day. Oh, okay, we're starting St. Hammond's already, we're not making Ben. But the first thing I noticed once entering the school is the clear lack of other humans makes sense. Get, I guess. They did tell me I'm a special case after all. The brain rot has finally started. Scalar. Oh hello, you must be Echo, the new student, right? Yes? H how do you know my name? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm the principal of this fine establishment. Smiles. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you, principal. Please call call me Scalar for PlayStation 2 trademark. Smiles. Smiles. Your first class will be in a genie exam, Mr. Solly. Have a great day, young man. Thank you, Scalar, for PlayStation 2 trademark. My, my first meeting with the principal went smoothly and I soon made my way to my first class in a brand new school. There are no multiple endings to this game, by the way. This is just... The, the funny mod. P.E. I was never really good with acronyms, but stepping inside the Janame Museum makes it pretty obvious. I instantly deflated to to say that I dislike sports of any kind is an understatement. Physical activity is just very tiring, that's all. Oh, sorry, I'm just uh, checking. Scanning the room, I noticed a Simeon teacher staring down at the rest of the class. Fudge, better hurry up before I bring too, on too much attention. The rest of the class is... Standing flagpole straight. Or at least looks like they're trying to. Some of them are just kind of slumped over or looking at the floor, seemingly distracted by something. Can't imagine what would be so interesting down there. I quickly get her little next to my peers and try to do my best tree impression. The coach looks at my direction for a moment before he starts to stride back and forth next to us with his arms behind his back. Reminds me of one of my dad's old moves. I tried watching it, but there was too much swearing in it. What the fuck? Hello? We've been standing here for a good minute now. Why is that? I can't do his voice anymore. <coughs> Agent Maggot, 
This is well because I will only say it once. My word is law here and you will listen to every word I say. Do I make myself clear? Why do you have to yell like that? My ear hurt. Ow. When can I go home? I'm not a maggot, I'm a human. The coach just looks uh, just as confused as we do now. Let's start with a simple exercise. Dodgeball. Last few people that are still paying attention shudder in horror. The coach notices too. After a few more moments, he lets out a deep sigh. Why don't we do some ball dribbling instead? He starts picking up softballs and throws them our way. After the fifth or so student fails to catch it, he tries to send one to me. <laughs> okay. He sighs again in defeat. What the fuck? One day, Sully. One day. What the fuck was that? After that, he starts slowly handing balls to each other. He gives us a perfect demonstration, and uh, after just barely stopping himself from blowing into his whistle, the exercise starts. The crowd is mildly aesthetic, while our coach just goes to a corner and slumps a little. How? He just let the, he just gently threw the ball. I'm not even gonna ask. Looking around, I see other students have already given up after one attempt. Or they are doing anything but what they are supposed to be doing. Oh shit, Damien. The the two that strike out the most are the pink Dilophosaurus, Mia. Just looking... Oh wait, no, that's not... Wait, he's... Oh yeah, no, that, no, that, that's not me. Yeah, this is Damien. It's Damien. Looking at his ball with an empty look. I can already see. I can already see the bend over from here. I've seen screenshots of little little Gator Mod, and I I see the bend already. The two that struggle the most are the pink dinosaurs, just looking at his ball with an empty look, and a dark crimson Parasaurus on the other side of the room. She's just sitting on the floor, trying to. What the fuck? I'm not even gonna question it. Shove the large rubber balls fear into her mouth. I guess I should just do the exercise. At first I had a pretty hard time keeping the ball from rolling away, but soon I keep the ball in pace. Coach seems to be at least <laughs> Okay, thank you. The world face the black as I return to the void. Eventually, I woke up. The coach and a few other students gathered around me. Bombardment. God damn it, Damien. The pain in my left cheek is pretty intense. It feels like somebody set fire to it. After a few moments, I must up the strength to stand up. Damien, okay? Jesus. You alright, cadet? Is that another name for a student? The front returns and after a quick checkup, I'm back to ball dribbling. Yo, sorry about that. Well, I thought we were still doing that ball. Pretty sure we were supposed to dribble them. Yeah. Maybe you're right. God, he's just staring. He's not even showing any emotions. This a PE goes pretty smoothly. Minus my searing cheek pain from and the random balls that roll in my direction. Lucky for me, Damien, the other dino's name, sends back to... Sender. After he pelts enough teenagers in the face, Coach decides to cut class short and sends us to the showers. Before I leave, I turn to see him standing in contemplation. Seems like PE really makes people think. Damon and I talk a little, by, little bit by ourselves. He also gives me a quick rundown to school. While it is a lot, I have no problem remembering every little detail. I'm surprised to find out after the first period, we already got get lunch break. I understand that regular Eating is important, but that seems a little too fast for me. The cafeteria is full of hungry dinos pushing each other and throwing all sorts of appliances around. For a moment, I consider just not going. But upon seeing us enter, everybody gives enough space for us to get our trays. Or to be more precise, for Damien to get his three trays. My diet is pretty delicate, and they have no ice cream around here. Oh well.
Oh, Benjamin. Okay. So, first we got... Why is he staying so close? First we got Inko. Um, staring Damien. Broken glasses bed. After inquiring his meal, he brings me to a faraway table where I see a blue parasaur already sitting. Yo, b man, what's up? Fine, thank you. Hey, it must be Inko, I assume. How do you know my name? I checked your prisoner files. What? I meant your name is on the... Do I see? Okay, got it. Oh my god. He goes split to that piece. Yeah, pet pack, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm eating. I have a sense about the cafeteria food might actually kill me. Shame. He pokes his pre-cut stick with a fork before chucking the whole plate down in a in one go. It's pretty good. Can you enjoy food? Sure. I mean, I don't want to tell you how to save a food, but if you do fast, then the flavors will disappear quicker, right? Enko is right. You should always take a time with your. No, I won't call. That. Well, then go ahead and tell him. Thought so. Damien doesn't really seem to care about a conversation as he has already devoured the second play. Okay, spoilers, spoilers warning. This school is special for everyone. You probably will understand it later. At this rate, the school might actually run out of carnival food. Be right back, gotta get some more grub. Oh. I must have blinked because they're all empty now. He sure does eat a lot. That's normal for Damien. Just be careful not to fall asleep around here. Why? His visual calculus tends to lag behind his body. What? He to stick sleeping students for food and tries to bite them. <sighs> God, okay. So, so far. We haven't reached to that part yet. If you're wondering what part I'm talking about, uh, it's later. It's later into the story. Maybe by later it'll be like earlier later. Oh, thanks for the warning. Don't worry about it. Just keep moving here and there, and you should be good. Any other cases I should know about? Uh, not really. No. What the? F okay, I've never seen model before because they did use reuse some models. He doesn't need to know that. What? Anyway, of course, there's a chance of arms escalating the violence around here, but that's just part of school life. But the, but the faculty makes sure that nothing bad happened. Who are you talking to? No one. There's nobody here. Nobody here. There's no one here. But us. Uh, and there never was someone else with us. I'm not in the way, okay? I've seen more fan art with Ben with another dino dude than Ben with another dino girl. I don't like. Yeah, I, I might actually think he's gay. I might actually think he's gay. Oh, you really know your things, Ben. Oh, huh? who told you my name? Uh, oh. What else did she say? That uh, you are the student council president. Nothing else. I'm not pretty sure about about you, if that's what you are asking. Sorry, it's just a bunch of rumors around here. Somebody tried to assassinate my character, and I won't stand for that. Someone tried to kill I interrupt myself before I ask him such a stupid question. If someone tried to kill him, then surely they would have already called the police. Do my glasses crack? Dodgeball. Ah. But let's talk about something else. Have you, have you had to check the campus? Oh, if you know you're one of the very special, ed special education high school in the country. And not only that, we are considered to be the best one. Wow, that's impressive. Isn't it? You must be very lucky or extremely talented to have the opportunity to study here. Talented. The other stu The other student people uh, it must have been because they were artists. Artists are always a bit odd. It is well known. Thankfully, I don't have that problem. Lucky me. Mm -mm, for shadowing. Uh, why is Ben making that face? Oh my god. No, no, this is Jenny. Oh, okay, I have to click the game. Thank God, I didn't click to close the game. This is terrifying. 
Hello. How are you? Do you remember she's like, Hello. Hello, my ear. Hello. She was so loud that I could feel the best of her voice rippling through my body. I thought it couldn't get worse, but then I saw her breathing in deeply. Oh no. How are you? <laughs> we are good, Liz. Thank you for very much for asking. Good? Yes, yes, Inko. You're feeling good, aren't you? What? Did you say something? See you doing great. Good. Bye bye. Goodbye, Liz. Have a great day. Who was that? Oh, that was just Liz. She's a bit peculiar, but she's very nice. That was crazy. She was all neck. Shut up. After our encounter with Liz, we continued our talk about life and what brought us here. Turns out he's she's a pretty important person around here. He's not only the student council president, but also a photographer. I talk about my artistic gift, as I like to call it, which makes him perk up. Apparently, not the only one who is especially gifted around here. Another f they, 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 they're just throwing at you at, throwing it at you at this point. All in all, he's a guy. Soon enough, lunch ends, and I met my way back to the art class. I heard a lot of good things about the teacher, both Ben and the principal only, only spoke. No, no, Ladigan. No, Ladigan. No, Ladigan. As I enter the classroom, I see a needle for Ladigan. The only universe where he survives. I could leave, could leave one of the last three seats. Welcome to the art design. Here you will learn the ins and outs of creation. Join me on this wonderful voyage to bring out artists in you. He unfolds one of the blackboard to reveal a college collage of paintings and pieces of different kinds. If you stick with the class, then I'm sure you will one day reach artistic heights. Then you will never knew you could. Man, Mr. Ladikin seems like a very animated guy. I used to know some teachers back then that tried a similar thing, but he comes off a lot more sincere. Like, he actually tries to just the rest of the class seems to agree. In gym class, most of them could even be bothered to do some exercise. Here, they sit in mostly silence or at the promise of being finally able to express themselves properly. At least, that's the case for me. Now, usually, you want to do a quick roll call, but I can already see a certain someone is missing. I look to my left and yup, a very spacious empty seat is in me. I can't make out many scratch marks and doodles of reds on the desk, it's weird. However, the chair seems to be missing. Foreshadowing. Mr. Nino? Yeah, just Mr. Okay. Would you kindly bring the missing duckling back to its nest? Sure can do. Okay. Our new character, who you've probably seen in a thumbnail. I think I might be stupid. I have no idea who, who I'm supposed to look for. But going back now is going to be embarrassing, so I might as well try to find them or at least kill enough time until class is over. What is this? This seems to be some sort of commotion going on down the hallway. Oh uh, yeah, this is what I was talking about. <sighs> yep, you've seen the thumbnail. Binky, Olivia, and Bent Head, Mia. Crimson caught the Crimson Cut. Can't believe they're still doing these awful drawings. Trigger. Damn am girl. Get him. Stupid sexy raptor chick. Oh, oh, say her art looks like a child drawing. Uh, yeah, it looks like a drawn child. <laughs> nope, nope. What? Copy got your tongue? Stop ignoring me, baby wheels. Uh, hey sister, I feel like nobody is home if you feel me. We didn't overdo it. Right? I don't want to get in trouble again. Nah, she's just stupid. Isn't that right, little stupid head? Just... Knock, knock. Hello? Somebody in... Oh my god, the faces she makes are just disgusting. Oh god, as much as I hate her, right? I... Oh god, I, I kind of feel bad for this one over here, because... Th those... This face... No one could love. Huh? Did you fall asleep? Huh? I have to do something. Is that fucking Weezer? I hugged a fucking hurt Weezer, bro. 
broski. Weezer, Weezer reference? Ooh, wee. Had to do something. That poor girl is completely defenseless. What are you doing to this innocent woman? Who are you? Who are you doing to my god? I just love you. Oh god, no, I hate the faces so much. Uh, this one. At least looks normal because you just put Pinky on the intrigued face. This one on the other hand, someone had this rawness. Who are you? What are you doing here? Get away! Ah. Uh, human! Wow! Oh wow, I haven't seen one before. Do you know how to make fire? Of course, of course you do. I have some old tribal clothing at home which I need. Lunara! Just. Shut up. Also, to answer your question, my name's Inca. Oh, little baby gator needs sense a boyfriend to defend her. Hilarious. Yo. Not bad, girl. Not bad. Don't know you had a thing for monkeys. I ain't judging for sh sh shaw, though. Gross, whatever. You and Binko over there are both losers anyway, so at least you have company now. Thank god I never not playing this on stream. That's it! Oh. I'll take that dork, teach you not to be such a gross loser. N -n 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 I swear, I can't think of the loser. Okay, I'm, I'm not thinking of loser, okay? I don't know. I'm gonna get copyrighted for this. Please. Can you get copyrighted? I actually don't know. What the hell? Why would you do that? Because it's funny. I mean, look at her. The get a girl's mouth is still doing the motion, as if the pacifier was still in her mouth. But her eyes are already swelling up with tears as she slowly tries to reach out for her stolen pacifier. I don't know, Mia. That might have been too much. Yeah, girl, I think you went a little too hard on that one. <laughs> As if what? You think she's gonna cry for a stupid. <laughs> Dude, can I see Vic, please? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm a bounce girl. This way really ain't cool of you, Mia. Ugh. Give her Binky back. Why? <laughs> because it's hers? Good, 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 goodbye, nerds. <laughs> now the only people remaining are me and the sobbing gator girl. Sniff snuff. Damn it. What can I even do now? Parasaurus, am I right? Her eyes start over to me and she starts to quiver. Oh no, did I say something wrong? 
It happens in a flash, the Gideko practically lunges forward and pulls me into a tight hug. And the tears start flowing onto my jacket. It takes all my strength to keep us both from falling over. A few moments later, she moves her snoot next to me to speak. Her voice is weak and quiet. How cruel can it be? First she lost her legs, and now she has taken them. Oh, I, fucking, I hate this. I, I don't know why. I, mean, I feel. S I don't know how to feel about this. I, I'm not saying I hate it. I'm not saying I like it. But oh, so I noticed this Olivia's uh, nail. Wow. I wish I could do more, but for now, the only thing I can do is comfort her. We stay like this for a few moments with, until I slowly seat her back into her wheelchair. Do you know why they did this? <laughs> I want to show her my drawing. Yeah, you draw? The girl sadly nods. Wanna show me? For a moment, she looks at me bewildered before she pulls a sheet of paper out of her pocket. Couldn't find them. Oh. Oh, I can't. No. Okay, cause um, if you guys didn't know, the mod that's on Steam is a bit buggy. Uh, because the it was posted not by the creator itself, but by another person. The real mod is on is in another f is uh is in a file, which I will link in the description so you guys can download the working mod. Hey, it looks pretty good. Th thanks. But I gotta ask, how do you do that? Hmm? The pictures are moving. She shrugs like it's just the most normal thing in the world. Before you ask, yes, I've seen the pictures. I was shown screenshots about it on Twitter. I can't remember which account, but they were like, there was like, like li the little gator mod, and there were like pictures of the, the, the drawing, some stuff and stuff. I can't remember what the account is. She just shrugs like it's the most normal thing in the world. My name's Inko. What's yours? Olivia Pinko not no name? No, I think she was trying to make a joke. Oh. Sorry. Hey, it's fine. It doesn't bother me. Uh, I don't know if the volume is kind of like messing it up. I'm gonna lower it a bit. It does, but I better stay quiet about that. Thank you. We did it guys, we hugged the gator. She doesn't say anything, instead she pulls me into another hug. This one feels a lot nicer than the first one. She still seems sad about the whole binky thing, but maybe I can do something about it? Say, Olivia, wanna go back to class with me? But, but my binky, I can't draw up my binky. Let's go see Mr. Latican, he can help us, he'll understand. Okay. Oliver curls into a ball, so I have to cut her back to the, into the classroom. On our way back, I take a look at the classroom plaque. It reads, Trent... Oh, okay, I, just, I know this. Trent Nadekin. Oops. And that's why you should never rub your eyes before washing your... Well, welcome back, you two. We just finished basic safety protocols, so nothing too important. Trent. <laughs> Olivia, are you okay? Me a pink binky. Oh dear. That one. We were just about to start doing drawing gestures, so try to take your mind off it for now, okay? Uh, okay. Oh god, the sound effects. Huh, despite her insistence on requiring a binky just a moment ago, she seems complete she seems to com be completely ready to get back into it. Man, look at her goal. That includes you too. Don't worry, we'll talk about it after class. The rest of the class is pretty straightforward, drawing much of lines, but that look like an S or a C and double check how Olivia is doing. The world seems to be over, although as she focuses on her art, it's a few gestures and some more doodles, from what I can tell. 
I tried to take a closer look at what she's currently working at, but... No. She seems really protective of it. After some more failed espionage attempts at and a paper cannonball fired my way, the class finally ends and Lanarkin gestures for us to come up to his desk. I try my best to explain the situation, which Olivia is busy fiddling some sort of pendulum. I think I understand now. Why is she floating up and down? Why is she floating up and down? I think I understand. Why should it be too hot to resolve? He gives somebody a call, and pretty soon... He gives... The maroon menace enters the room. Now that I think about it, that bent head crest looks pretty unhealthy. Is isn't that where they store their brain? I thought the brain was like here. I thought it was just for like decoration and shit. Mia, I heard you've been harassing some of your peers that you took something from Olivia. Damn snitches. Yeah, I took that stupid big key. What about it? It's not like she's a baby anymore, so what is it matter? Well, first off, it's not yours. So you shouldn't be taking it. Taking it to begin with. Uh second, she needs it to concentrate properly. It, it's like a metrome for her. Mat mat what? Nonetheless, it's not your choice to make, so you could pass please pass it back. How about... No. We could do now, huh? Lanarkin doesn't change his expression, but he pulls out a small one-like object. <laughs> I... <laughs> yeah, I was a tater. Okay, okay, I get it. Use a stupid passy. Can I go now? Not yet. <sighs> Olivia just wants to show you some of her art. I think it's a nice gesture. Something that you can learn from. And she has a pinky bag. So what is it? So that I can be a better person to appreciate what other people do? That too, but mostly your art is awful. <laughs> God, I hate, I hate the fact this is. I have to I play this shit at nine in, almost at ten in the night. Uh, other people are doing their productive shit, but what am I doing? I'm playing a, a little game of mod. Despite all the challenges my students had to go through, they still make themselves vulnerable by expressing themselves. Despite your best attempts to stop them from doing so, I, uh... So for someone to judge and presume what they should and should not do when they do even have, don't even practice any self-expression themselves, for shame. For shame. Same. <coughs> Sniff. Did we overdo it? Eh, don't worry about it. She needs to hear it eventually anyways. I have to commend you, Inko. You just arrived here, overcame your condition, and showed your true compassion for somebody just because it's the right thing to do. And here comes the biggest reveal. I'm very proud of you. Wait. Condition? You don't know? Oh, dear. Don't know what? Is, is this something bad? Inko, you have Asperger's. For people who don't know what it is, I'm going to save you some time from search re searching it on Google. It's basically, basically, in short form, he's on the spectrum. This whole school is meant is for the special needs. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Even some of my world was collapsing around me, the whole time I thought I was gifted, uh, that people actually liked what I did. But I was just... It's so over for me. I sink back into myself. All this time, none of what I did here had any meaning. <laughs> Fuck! Why? Depression is for Leo Plerudons. Okay, I'm sorry if I said anything bad. I really don't know what any of these means. Okay, despite being om almost turning 17, I still don't know shit about fancy English words. Think about it. Despite your shortcomings, you are not only managed to follow up on your craft, you also help somebody in need. That's something most normal people would do. Most diagnosis or other doesn't mean anything if you can prove them to them daily that you can live a normal life. It's only my condition, but rather that I didn't actually pick up that I'm in a special ed class until I saw Mia of that bent head cone of hers. Well, that just means you don't inherently judge people, no? That's another good trait. Huh. 
I guess you're right. Huh, I guess you're right. Thanks, Mr. Ladakin. Inkle. Oh, hey, Olivia, what's up? I, I made pick two for you, and I want to say thank you for being nice and... Can I see it? Sh sure. Missing. She basically shoved a piece of paper out into my face. Uh, it's a picture of bo both Inko and Olivia holding hands. Is this me in the middle? Y yeah. Thank you. Uh, this looks beautiful. Thank you. Oh, no. Tim, I gotta go. Accommodations, which ever takes punctuality very seriously. Oh. Well, how's your first day at school, Mr. Needle? Honestly, pretty turbulent. I mean, a lot of things happened. I made some new platonic friends, stood up bullies, and learned about myself. All in all, I think I'm gonna like it here. That's great to hear. I hope you'll take to heart what happened today. Who knows? Maybe there's somebody else who might learn from this. Oh my fucking god, I... I forgot how much I hated seeing front-facing Vatican or front-facing anyone. God, please stop staring at me. For example, when making a joke, consider the emotions of people you're telling it to. Learning to recognize jokes is an essential skill that can help improve your social life and so is knowing when to tell one. I received a notice from the principal about something called AI. No idea what it is, but people are advised to avoid it. Apparently, it causes brain damage. <laughs> so, don't need more of that now. Despite our school's best effort, some oddly specific ticks still remain, making socialization with those affected nearly impossible. Please do not end every sentence with, heh, it's weird. I'm promptly talking about injuring others in any shape or form, or as a hobby, occupation, or even just as a form of expression, but it's not funny or quirky. It's just psychotic. Good rule of thumb, if you wouldn't say it to your mother, then don't say it. That's good advice. That's... Okay, I shit my pants. I actually thought I was streaming, but no, luckily I'm still making a YouTube video. This is actual advice. Be careful what you say online. Would you say that to your mother? No. Some of you people turn overshaping into a serious issue. And last but not least, don't trust what people say on the internet. They are probably lying. Just because someone is saying does not make it true. I know this might have been might have been a lot to take in. Do you think you can manage? <sighs> I hate this so much. I hate this mod so much. Yes, I can manage. Good to hear. We're all very proud of you. I'm sure you will also one day find that special something to be good at. Well, that's about wraps it up. Oh, that was fun, but I better get moving too. I heard that there's a new dinosaur visual novel coming out and I must play it. See ya, Mr. Tremt. Hey, 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 you kids are going to be the death of me one day. <sighs> Man, I shouldn't have not drunk all that bone honey juice. Ow. Yeah, I think I'm going to start getting medication after this. I, I, I'm actually wondering if I'm hallucinating or I'm actually playing the game. Many months is one unsatisfying ending later. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, this is where we get to meet the... Goodbye Vocadria High, which is the next visual novel I'm going to be playing on stream one day. Why the fuck does Anon have a gun? I'm really looking forward to the finished piece. Eh, me too, it's just... Why does she have a pacifier? Uh, some of the children I work with have a similar thing. It's no big deal, really. Oi, no ring. Haha, <laughs> sorry. How long will it take to finish? Hmm, nearly done. Huh. What's so funny? She kind of reminds me of that stego chick back from, uh, uh, from high school. Oh my god! <laughs> they don't even look similar. Oi! Binky. 
sniff, sniff. Olivia, what happened? This is the only time they, those two will ever meet. We have Anon and Inko, Lucy and Olivia. Oh no, are you alright? No. <sighs> okay, that's pretty awkward. Let's go get you a new one, okay? Can we get ice cream too? Sure. <laughs> hey, sorry about that, but can you guys wait here for like 20 minutes? We, we need to get her a new one. Sh sure? Awesome! We'll be right back. Let's go, Olivia. Are the kids also like this? They're not that extreme, but hey, we shouldn't judge them for it. You're right. Wanna take a look at the painting? Might as well. Oh god, this is a pretty good sketch. This is, this is my type of drawing. I still draw birds like this. Trees like that, houses like that. Even the sun. How much was that picture again? 50. Maybe we should bounce? I yeah. As we fade to black. And they got run over by Olivia for trying to leave without paying. Okay, and that was the I Wanna Hug That Gator Little Gator Mod. Thank you guys for. Oh my god, I can't click all of it. Oh, I can't click all of it. I can't click all of it. Okay. And you can join my Discord server to get notified for every single time I stream on Twitch. Or you can go to my Twitch and drop me a follow. And all of them are linked in the description. If you can't go to the description, go to uh, About Me. Go to my info page. I have my link tree, which links you to everything from my Twitter all the way to my Discord. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next stream with Class of 09. And I and hope to see you there. Goodbye!